Listen, I, I know we just heard something break somewhere in this very well-lit house, and I'll get to that in just a second, but first, I wanted to introduce you to uh, my co-worker. This is Fred. He works in the cubicle next to me. Really doesn't like coffee. Fred, if you've fallen on hard times and you're living out of a cardboard box, you still shouldn't just accept a couple dollars from Bendy to have him ink in your face. That's degrading. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the most unpredictable series on the internet. Three random games. We'll start things off today with a game called Why is the Office Coffee so bad? And I get the feeling I know why. It's not necessarily what you're drinking, but where you're drinking it. Like, this is already exactly what I assumed it would be. We're trapped in a cubicle, or just trying to survive under the thumb of capitalism, furiously typing away in Morse code? Or is, is that Braille? Because <laughs> either way, I don't think it would be particularly useful, right? So you, we can't hear the beeps and boops without speakers, and we can't feel the bumps on a screen. Then again, I guess we can't feel much of anything with these Muppet arms. Uh... <laughs> I was about to say, I'm a little bit concerned with the fact that we don't seem to actually have coffee, but now I'm a little bit more concerned with the fact that we don't actually seem to have any legs. <laughs> Which is gonna make getting out of here a whole lot, well, slower. I, I won't say impossible, you know, we're just gonna have to hope for elevators and, and ramps, you know, a little bit of uh, handy capableness. Did one of my co-workers seriously give me a calendar of snails for Secret Santa? Is it because I slowly crawl around the place? Because that's a dick move. <laughs> Clearly, my schedule is jam-packed. I'm a hard worker around here. I wish I could say the same for my cubicle, though. Kind of a ghost town in here. Definitely feels like I'm missing something. Something hot, something black. Not Idris Elba, something like coffee, maybe? Do you think there's a chance that I have a secretary? Just, Karen, C could you maybe bring me a neck brace and then coffee? What just happened? Did I just break something? Am I really that fragile? No, Karen actually did just bring us coffee. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest with you guys, I didn't really expect that to work. Karen is full of surprises, great employee strengths, she's very quick, very quiet, she's like a fart in the wind. Weaknesses, every time she moves, time space seems to have a bit of a hiccup. Well, even if it is bad office coffee, I, I still feel like I should be drinking it right now, but I, 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 nothing I do seems to be able to influence my Kermit hands. Like, I'm very resolute on practicing my bongo stance with this keyboard. Do you think I'm going to be able to go pro? All I can do is turn my neck, and I can't imagine my neck is... Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> neck? Could we maybe... Oh. Just leaning in for a bit of a whiff of that hot brew. Okay, then. Uh, not gonna tell the chiropractor about that one. <laughs> How are you? This isn't so bad, right? It's just kind of pulling a Michael Jackson. Am I losing my mind? It was very black, but Hell, now it's uh, a... Looks like you're getting some fine work done down there. Uh, why don't you take a look up here and so I can uh, so I can talk to you. Did the coffee just talk to me? Hello. Hello? Uh oh, <laughs> hi. Oh, <laughs> hey. Well, are you enjoying that there coffee? It was. Maybe. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd let you know that uh, drinks actually aren't allowed in the office. They, uh, they sort of covered that in the uh, mandatory anti external sustenance seminars that we, uh, have to go to twice a week. I'm sure you've been there, but in case you forgot, <laughs> they uh, definitely don't allow drinks, so I would definitely highly recommend putting that away before the boss sees you drinking it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> hey, Fred, between the two of us, who was just being the most productive? 
<laughs> Even if I'm working at half capacity, how about this? I'm gonna type up your recommendation, uh, I'm gonna email it out in a newsletter, and then I want you to print it off, neatly fold it, and shove it up your ass. Glossing over the fact that Fred seems to blink like a lizard, I gotta wonder why is it that my arms look like I'm a Simpson, but my face seems to be made of milk or creamer? Oh, uh, your work output has decreased by about half. Please pick up the pace. Management. Okay, I, I know I told Fred that I was working at about half, but at the same time, you know, my one half is working twice as hard now that I have coffee, right? Does that make any sense? Oh, it's getting darker again. Just a reminder of the company motto, both hands on the keys makes work a breeze. Yeah, that, that deserves a nice little straight-faced emoji. What is going on with this coffee? Now it's just turning to bloods? Or paint? Oh, something is leaning over. Is it the Terminator? We will now monitor employee activity. Management, oh, they're, they're frowny facing now. Hello. Hi there. What's ringing? I don't have a phone, or maybe I do. Um, not really sure how to get that. If I can't see it, then it's not a problem, right? Oh, you gonna shoot me? Oh. <laughs> wow, seriously? You made me use the force pickup button? Uh, yeah, this is your boss speaking, and I've had several complaints about your work output. And honestly, I was gonna try to make a good case for you, but I can see on the security cams that you're breaking our number one rule. No coffee at the desk. So I'm gonna need you to put that cup down and uh, get back to work. Do you understand? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sarah, please stop drinking that. <laughs> no, no, do you even know what you do? What? I was just gonna say that this isn't coffee, it, it's quite clearly paint, or maybe piss. Can we m maybe talk about my phone? The fact that it's got two fours, two twos, no eight or a nine, that's okay. Um, did everybody else not have coffee? I'm just gonna keep on sipping, how about that? Just sip the day away. Come on, every everything is fine. I don't know what people are talking about when they said this office coffee is so bad. It's quite clearly laced with LSD or, or mushrooms. Oh, that'll get you through the workday real quick. Hello? Hello? Oh. Okay. Uh. This is a, a, a thing? And so our hero dives into the unknown depths of time and space to seek out the answer to life's most mysterious questions. Although one thing is for certain, the future is open to those with coffee on their side, even if it is cheap office coffee. Cheap, psychedelic office coffee. Well, it's like I was saying at the beginning, I don't think it's necessarily what you're drinking, it's where you're drinking it. If you took the exact same coffee and you were sipping it off of a stripper's back in Cancun, then suddenly it's delicious, but because your brain associates it with the pain of being trapped in a wage cage from 9 to 5, then obviously it's always going to taste like you're gulping down a puddle from underneath a Starbucks dumpster. <laughs> or in this case, uh, like... Space time? I, I don't know. Is, is that the end? I think that's the end. Three random games. Our next game is called The Box, and I'm sure there's probably countless vagina jokes that I could be making throughout this, but instead, I'm gonna sit here and watch a 240p screenshot of Conan O'Brien and Bill Burr. Or not. Honey, would you mind getting the door for me? Uh, sure. Yeah. It's just as long as I find out who's talking to me. Oh, I have a hot Unity asset wife. Hold up a second. I don't know if you guys picked up on that or not, but there's something about all of my furniture that has me questioning whether or not she... Oh, oh could you say something again real quick, please? Hmm. I wonder who that could be at this hour. Yeah, she sounds vaguely European. 
And all of this furniture is quite clearly Ikea, so it makes me wonder, did you come with the house? <laughs> Does Ikea do mail order brides? Because if so, god damn, am I ever impressed. Look, I'm gonna go answer the door and you turn off the stove, okay? Because uh, let's be perfectly honest, anything with an umlaut in its name is highly flammable. We need to be careful around all this crap. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Now, if you could direct me to the front door, that would be incredibly helpful. Okay, here we are. Oh! Honey, is a third person perspective at the Hello? door! <laughs> what is Hello? happening right now? Uh, this isn't mine. Oh, huh. it no isn't? Label. Did someone just leave a random box on my doorstep? I well, guess let's that's see what we got. kind of how deliveries work. Maybe it's hers? I guess this would be the box, right? Can I see through the box? I can. <laughs> oh, this is going great already. Honey, I swear to Christ, if you ordered another Heimeldinger or Stromboldurf, I'm not putting it together. What is that? I don't know. What's inside? Put it on the couch and open it. Okay. Let's just take a peek. Yeah, why not? It looks like it could be a hobo house, right? <laughs> Put it on the couch, huh? What, is it too big for a weak little chair table? Uh, how do I put... Okay. What the fuck is this? Good question. I mean, it's a box, but it's a very deep box? What the hell? Honey, come look at this. Okay, that's really weird. Right? I don't see a bottom. Hey, what if you drop something inside the box? Perhaps a mug? But I could just like... Actually, no, I really shouldn't touch it, should I? You may be blonde, and that blonde may be clipping through other important assets of yours, but uh, yeah, you know what? You're, you're a bright one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab Wanna you. Want to see how deep it goes? Drop you in. Okay. Hopefully we don't anger the box. Holy shit, there's no bottom to it. Grab the phone and shine the light inside. You got all the bright ideas, don't you? Well, if I was a phone, where would I be? And I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. In your pocket. Unfortunately, I don't have legs for pants, so uh, I think we're just gonna go with the room with stuff in it. Yeah, stuff is, uh, goods. Maybe. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but it's definitely stuff that has a phone. There you go, it's just that easy. All right. <laughs> don't worry, honey, I'm... On it. Did you guys just see something poking up out of the box? Are we gonna look at everything in the room except for the box? Yes, I get it. Okay, the texture of, of this fake fabric is fantastic, but come on. No? Hello? Are we? Oh. Oh my god! Is that a hand? What the fuck? A hand? Don't. Move, looking at us. No, no, no. This can't be real. Why is there a person looking at us from that box? This has to be some kind of a joke. Does this look like a joke to you? I... What the fuck was that? Okay, that's seriously not cool. I, I was following your orders. <laughs> Why did I turn my back to it? Ooh, oh, it's still there. And it's very much looking at me. Don't like that. Listen, I, I know we just heard something break somewhere in this very well-lit house, and I'll get to that in just a second, but first, I wanted to introduce you to uh, my co-worker. This is Fred. He works in the cubicle next to me. Really doesn't like coffee. Fred, if you've fallen on hard times and you're living out of a cardboard box, you still shouldn't just accept a couple dollars from Bendy to have him ink in your face. That's degrading. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to see if I can convince my Ikea wife to help lift that cursed object onto our forever stove. C could, could we... 
maybe get to that, please? You're not gonna do much of anything, are you? Okay, great, well, I'm gonna go look for what broke. Probably a window somewhere, right? Oh, can I, oh my God, I can only aim it down. You're kidding me. Uh, yeah, that, that's, it's a broken window. The hell? There's nothing in here. You would imagine somebody like threw a brick through the window, right? But there's not even broken glass. So was it broken from the inside? I don't get it. Weird. Okay, either way, honey, I, I don't like that. I have to get help. Okay, don't take your eyes off of it. I'll be back as fast as I can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go get help. <laughs> That's what they all say. Listen, between you and me, I'm genuinely starting to think this is a horror game. I just thought it was gonna be like other box games I've played. Yeah, all right, see you later. I, I'm just gonna have to order another one from Ikea. This is, this is fine. Door open, there we go. Is there a run option? Gonna go ahead and hop in my car. And away I go. Driving at the speed of smell across this beautiful vacant land. Is that my wife? Is she, is she pissed? Should I answer it? David, I'll answer it. Come home now. I feel asleep. The thing from the box is gone. I don't know if. Hello? What do you mean it got out? What do you mean you fell asleep? I told you to keep looking at it. I'm on my way back. Try to find someplace safe. Am I taking crazy pills or something? What? Oh, honey, it's terrible. There's a tar monster in our Amazon delivery, but I'm feeling kind of drowsy, so maybe you shouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I can aim this out now. That's not good. That's, uh, very red. Oh, yeah. that That's probably wife material, right? It was squishy. It sounds like it came from behind me, maybe? I don't like that. Is the box empty? The box is empty, of course it is. Wife? Nope, she still left the goddamn stove on, though. <laughs> oh, what's the use of her? She's not down there. Oh, I ain't had woo. Oh, it's toilet paper. I thought that was an eye. Oh, this sucks. This sucks, this sucks, this... Why every window? Why'd you have to be like that? Was this you? Oh my god, no. No. Wifey? Oh no. Oh my god. Like he is never gonna accept this return. What's with the intense music? You are you okay? I can't crouch down. Okay, uh. I'm just gonna come back for her. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Oh! What's up, Fred? Oh, that's it. That would be the box. All right then. Three random games. It looks like it's about time to become the mold exorcist. Whatever that means. It, it kind of looks like I'm gonna be a Ghostbuster, but instead of getting rid of cool things like Supernatural, I'm instead getting rid of boring things like wall fungus. Is mold a fungus? I should probably know that if I'm gonna be working the job. <laughs> Listen, I'm not exactly a wall biologist, all right? Everything is gonna be fine. Hi, bud. Just calling to let you know that this particular job has a rush on it. The property goes up for sale tomorrow, so sorry for putting you on the graveyard ship. Don't worry, you'll get time and a half for this one. So you don't contaminate the whole place. Start upstairs. The door's open. You got your mold blaster 9000, HEPA mask, headlamp, and you're ready to go. Talk to you on Monday, mate. All right, well, the Ghostbusters may have a cooler name and a cooler phone number and a much cooler van, but you know what they don't have? Uh, that's right, the Mole Blaster 9000. <laughs> Let's get in there. Let's see if we can earn that time and a half worth of pay. Holy crap. Uh, all right. 
It looks like the guy from the last game was here right after an all-you-can-eat Taco Bell buffet. <laughs> it's just sprayed up against the walls. There's nobody here, right? I'm alone? Okay, uh, where do I start? Oh, they wanted me to start upstairs, that's right. Hey now, you gotta finish the upstairs before you do the basement, or you'll make the mold worse. Rookie mistake, mate, but don't worry. You'll be a pro like me in no time. Is that how mold works? I know I said I don't know a whole lot about mold, but I know a lot about basements, and they should not be glowing reds. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. No, that's that's bad. I don't know why the stairs would have been behind a door, in retrospect. Stupid move on my part. Let's just go up here, and, uh... Where do we start? How quickly do you think this thing is gonna work? It, uh... Oh... What was that? Is that the sound of mold dying? I have got some real distance on this thing. Okay, for real, I, I don't think mold dying is the equivalent of a string quartet. Something is not right here. I don't like this one bit. Is this house haunted by a sheep? What was that? <laughs> Oh, okay, calm down. No, that's not alright. If the ghost of Lamb Chop is actually here, I just want you to know that I'm, I'm trying to earn 13 bucks an hour by spraying down these walls, so I'm gonna make this place a whole lot nicer for you, and then I'm gonna mosey on along, and you can hunt whoever buys this shithole. I think I, I was told it goes on sale tomorrow, so... You won't have to wait long. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to think it may actually be a sheep. <laughs> That's fine. Get this whole floor done. Everything is all right. Okay, I think we've got this entire floor nice and clean. I'm doing a whole lot more work than you are. This freaking light bulb is useless. <laughs> now, if we go downstairs, there's still nothing here. <laughs> Stop that. I, I, for a second, I, I questioned what this was, but it's the door. I should know what the front door is. I'm going to be using it real soon. Okay. Everything is fine. Okay. I, I know that the spirit of Lamb's past is, you know, sting and buying and all that crap at me, but it, it's fine, right? If anything, it, it's just kind of passive. Doesn't concern me. Maybe it's just a little bit pissed that I'm emptying like a high school locker room's worth of Axe body spray onto the walls. <laughs> That's what's killing all the mold, I can guarantee it. Oh. Okay, um... Starting to think it might not be Lamb Chop. Oh. <sighs> Do I still finish the work? Yeah. Me! Actually, you do still sound kind of feminine. Are you hot? Who am I talking to right now? Is it the house? Or is it the mold? Come here. I mean, far be it for me to say no when a, a lady tells me to come here. Um, okay, uh, but for real, can we get, like, a, a Marco Polo in this situation or something? I'm, I'm trying to figure out what exa- oh, oh, okay, uh, I'm just gonna just quickly, you. you're, you're welcome, you're welcome. Is it the house? Maybe I'm talking to the house. Oh. I probably should have introduced myself before I sprayed your insides, if that's the case. <laughs> oh, how is it the horror games are even dirty? Okay, I know, I know, I'm, com I'm coming down to the basement. Oh, yeah, sh 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 You know what, if you get rid of all the molds, and you kind of fix up the house, then, uh, this might be a good buy for somebody. The basement is very... roomy? Still a bit of a fixer-upper, sure, but, uh... Whoa, what a 
am I looking at right now? Oh. What is this? Are these rocks or oh my my spray master 9000 whatever the Christ is not working anymore. Are you what I'm talking to? Okay, but hear me out. She is kinda dummy thick though, right? Even if she's got like tumor consistency. <laughs> so was this a good thing? I'm guessing the house isn't gonna sell. Okay, and I'm not getting paid. Great, of course that's how this would end. All right, you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. All of these games were recommended to me by you guys, so please continue to find these funny, weird, five to 10 minute games you wanna see me play. Leave them in recommendations, tweet them at me when I ask for suggestions, that kind of stuff, and then hopefully the Three Random Games series will be able to continue. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.